I know we can't assist anyone on any. But what if someone were to uh, like lend us something, not a gift, but just lend it, and then he asked for it back to uh, with sin. So like for example, I were to ask my dad, uh, can I you know can I use your car to you know go out to a mall or restaurant or whatever, and then he gives me his car, and the keys, uh, and then he thirty minutes to so an hour later he calls me back asking for the car back, because he needs to like leave for a wedding or something, and I know without a doubt that the wedding's gonna be free mix and everything, with music and everything and. In this case, would I be sinful if I gave him the car back? Jazakallah khair. First of all, logically, Akhi, you will not be sinful because he's not asking for your car. Rather, he's asking for his own car to be returned back to him. You are not his father. You have no control over him to say, no, I'm not giving you my car so that you won't go to a wedding it is his car so this doesn't make any sense to borrow his car to go to a mall or to anywhere you want which he kindly allows you to then you want to reverse this and control his actions by judging him and saying that you can't go to such a wedding number two Again, you're judging your father, saying that he's going to a wedding and there will be free mixing and there will be uh, music and maybe haram drinks, etc. Who are you to judge him? You have no authority over him. And you don't even know whether he will be participating in these haram events or not whether he's going there to go and tell them, this is haram, you should stop this, this is haram, you may, may not participate in this. So he would do his communal duty and obligation in enforcing what is righteous and virtuous and preventing what is evil and vice. So you don't have the right to do this. So in a nutshell, my friend, you cannot control your father. You cannot decide what he does or he does not. He's a grown man and he has the authority over you. Yes, you may not assist him in haram. That is obvious and, 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 and clear. When you have the ability to refrain, as in the case if he tells you, go and fetch me a bottle of beer or buy me cigarettes, this is something haram. You cannot do this and you have to hold your grounds and diplomatically and respectfully decline telling him that Allah has prevented me and prohibited me from doing this and I hope this makes uh, um, some sense.